Hey guys, I just want to start off by saying uh, happy holidays. Uh, if you don't celebrate these holidays, that's fine. I still hope you have a fantastic time and you're able to relax and just have lots of fun in this time. I know that uh, not everybody celebrates all of the holidays that are around this time and that you might celebrate different holidays. So I just want to recognize that. Uh, and if that's the case for you, then yeah, definitely enjoy your holidays when they come around um but today we are doing a build that i've kind of wanted to do since maybe like six or seven months ago um and it is heavily inspired by as you can probably tell by um godric's hollow so i really i love to come up with ideas for um the holidays that i celebrate um and just get them done nice and well in advance. So I finished this at the start of this month. Um, actually on the first day of this month I had finished it. Um, and so I, yeah, I was really excited about this and I really wanted to like share it and um, whatnot because yeah, I thought it'd be super fun. And the idea was taking that scene from Harry Potter where Harry and Hermione, um, uh in Godric's Hollow and they realize what time of year it is um and because they've been basically on the run for so long they had no idea what time of year it was and I really wanted to just take that scene and yeah sort of build this out to be not my own thing but like just do something that's sort of inspired by it now it was a little difficult to um use the photos as inspiration because it was really hard to see. A lot of the photos I pulled up were really blurry. Uh, however, I feel like I did all right. I definitely made it up as I went along um, for things I didn't know and wasn't aware of. And it was really, really a lot of fun to do. Um, you know, it took me ages, which is why this video is so long. Um, but yeah, like I said, I had so much fun doing this and I think I I want to do more builds like this again in the future. It was so much fun. Um, I had a lot of fun trying to figure out how to make it work and how to put it together and why it wasn't working and, and you know, it was, it was, it was quite challenging, I think, um, but quite fun nonetheless. So, yeah, I think if you want to try and challenge yourself you should definitely do stuff like this um because it was it was definitely different and unique and fun to do I definitely think I got a little bit outside my comfort zone for it um and I also didn't do any of the furnishing because well it I think it took me like three hours just to do the exterior of this build which I'm super proud of myself for doing because I used to do builds completely like 100% in two hours and now I'm taking that extra time and effort to actually have a look at okay how can I uh, build this up how can I make this better and I, I feel like I've definitely come a long way um, if you've been watching me for a while definitely let me know your thoughts on whether or not I have uh, done so because I I feel pretty proud of my like I'm, I'm still not perfect I know there are people out there who spend like 10 hours is the minimum they spend on any given build and I'm scratching three just to do the exterior and you know I definitely think there's way more I could have done but I think I think I did all right I think we should celebrate the victories we have instead of thinking about the victories we could have had in the future um well not the victories we could have had sorry in the future in the past like yeah I could have done way better builds and I could have fixed this and that and whatever but you know, I think with what I have done, I'm pretty proud of it. I think you can definitely see the improvement and yeah, I'm all about celebrating the little victories um, because the little victories are the things that uh, will get you to the end, I guess. Um, and I'm also not pre-recording this. I know my last couple of videos I've been pre-recording it, but I'm, I'm honestly recording this the day of. Um, as soon as I go and finish it, it's going to be uploaded and pretty much put up, ready to go live in a few hours. Um, but I'm hoping to get a few builds done for 
January. Um, I've got a few ideas coming up. I've got a few challenges I want to share. So yeah, if there's a couple of because there's a couple of things I want to share with you guys in the future, and um, I think I'm happy to share them now uh, because I imagine a lot of people would be spending the holiday holiday time with their loved ones instead of um, over here. But if you're over here on the holidays, that's also fine. Um, you get to hear it for everyone else. I've been holding on for it on to a lot of these things for so long, but. The first one is the A to Z challenge. That is something that is super exciting for me to share. Um, it's a great little challenge that I, I'm so glad so many people have joined in. Uh, but I will be streaming it uh, over on Twitch. And I've decided to do it every day of February for the winners. Um, and again, it's the top two. There are voting forms over on my uh, Instagram in my bio. You don't have to have Instagram to be able to vote. Um, it's just a Google form, but they're all over there. Um, yes, there's 26, or about to be 26. I haven't done the last four because we're still in the final few days of, uh, what's the month? December, I want to say January, and then February. That's not the right one. We're in December. So if you... Um, are still wanting to participate you you have a few days left to get w x y and z in um and to be quite frank i'm probably going to accept them if they're also put in january in the first week or so um just because i know people are busy and whatnot uh and i know i'm going to be super busy in january myself so that's why i'm doing it in february because i actually have a bit of time off there so on the 1st of January for myself, it may be the 31st of December for you, um, I will start streaming. So yes, I'm going to be doing one a day so that I can actually go through and, and do some detailed looking and we can search it and, and figure out how it was made and, and all that sort of stuff so I can spend some extra time on each build. Um, and then also that same day, I will be doing the A to Z challenge again myself. So those videos I will already be releasing. Um, I don't know if anyone's noticed, but over on Twitch, I've already been doing this. I've been um, building over on Twitch, doing the builds for February. So I thought, yeah, I might, might let you guys know that I've been doing that. No one's really noticed. And I'm kind of happy because I was able to do that quite sneakily. Um... And yes, I've, I'm already up to uh, H. I accidentally skipped G, but that's fine. Um, I will do that next year when I start streaming again, because I was meant to do H last time. Like, oh, sorry, ne um, next time, my next stream. So I'll just revert back. Um, and I'm pretty happy because so far most of the builds are actually done. Um, I have finished... The I finished every letter. Like obviously, I've gone up to H. I finished every letter except for A and H. So I'm going to go through and finish those, um, and then the other ones that I'm not going to be streaming, I'm going to get ahead and do, so that I am not falling behind and stressed out like I was last time. And yeah, I'm super excited to finally share that with you guys. And again, I don't expect many people to see this yet, so it's still probably going to be a surprise to a lot of people, which I love. I love dropping little hints here and there and then and people missing out on things and or not missing out on things, but missing the things I say. And then suddenly it like it, it happens um, and I'm just super excited to share it, with you guys. Um, and I also have another challenge that I want to share, um, which I will be sharing in January. So it's a build I did ages ago and I had this really cool idea for it and I built the house and then I just stopped. I didn't do any of the interior, I didn't do any of the landscaping and so it's actually going to be a landscaping challenge which I'm super excited about. I've never done a landscaping challenge before in my life um, and I'm just super excited to be able to do it. Um, I, it is a specific type of landscaping, I'm not going to share more than it, it's a landscaping challenge, but I've never done, a land, I've never seen a landscaping challenge either, I've seen challenges where people, um, like, here's a shell, 
and, and if you want to do the landscaping you can or not but i've never seen one that's specifically landscaping oriented so you have to do the landscaping and that's the challenge and there are so many amazing people out there who do landscaping and they do it so well that i i just want to know how they do it i want to know how to, how do you do it what does it look like why well, how do you get it to look so good and so that's that's another reason why i want to do it as a landscaping challenge is because well, i want to see how you make it so pretty and it'll be really good to be able to break these things down and share them so yes i'm going to be sharing that in january i'm not too sure when the due date will be but it'll probably be i'm looking around like i have calendars around with me i don't um uh, I'll probably share it in March, so you'll probably have two months to do it, um, because I don't want to be sharing two separate challenges at the same time. Um, and yeah, it'll be really, really fun. Um, I think I could share it on the 31st of January, but I think I'm just going to give everyone until the end of February for it. Um, excuse me for a second. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm not quite used to talking for this long. I know it's 11 minutes and most of my videos go for around 15-ish minutes, I guess. That's probably my average. But I did a lot of talking and, and yelling and, and having fun yesterday. Um, I had some people around to celebrate and I just had lots of people over and we did lots of things and swimming and chatting and playing games and so on. I'm... I'm a wee bit tired, not gonna lie. Um, so yes, but that's kind of what happens around this time of year for me anyway, is is lots of things happen and I get very tired and I just push through it and my my break, um I'm currently on a two week break from uni. My two week break is running around and doing all the things that uh, I've kind of neglected a little bit from doing uni, so um I did some deep cleaning of the house yesterday. I didn't have to. I guess there were people coming over and the house was already clean, but uh, I thought I would just get some deep cleaning in so that now that I'm officially on holidays, I don't actually have to worry about running around and doing any of that stuff. I um, can actually take a little bit of a break. Um, so the kitchens and the bathroom, the kitchens, there's only one kitchen, sorry. The kitchen and the bathrooms got deep cleaned. Um, and then I think, oh, sorry if you just had my stomach, um, I have not had breakfast yet, uh, but I think I'm going to deep clean my room in maybe the next couple of days, maybe not the next couple, maybe in a couple of days, to have a couple of days break and do some deep cleaning because it, it gets very dusty in here, um, a very dusty, dusty room, but I think it's something I want to do closer to the new year um because it'll help me get into that reset mindset um for now I just want to have a holiday and laze around a little bit I know like I still I still do my daily and weekly cleaning um it helps me keep on top of things but uh I think a deep reset would be really nice um like I said it gets really dusty where I live and so I just want to completely get rid of all the dust from all the nooks and crannies and off the windowsills and, and whatnot um because it's just it gets so dusty here I don't understand how uh but it does that's okay we'll just have a deep clean um but no like I said before I want to kind of leave it for later so that I can have that reset mindset um reset up all my uh, goals for the year and the months I, I still think doing monthly goals and prioritizing monthly goals over yearly goals is absolutely fantastic um and then I have some whiteboards where I just write down all the things I need to do and I have them set up in a certain way to look look nice um and I just think being able to reset those I've got one that's a weekly calendar that I have not done for about two or three weeks and it's still got some stuff on from two or three weeks ago uh, and then I've got another one that I've set out like a calendar, which I also have a third one that is actually a calendar, but that's only for one month. This one I've set up for 
it could be two months it could be three months i've currently got it set up as two um which are the next two months so i have the current one and then i have the next two months which i think is super helpful and handy um because i've been able to look at it and go okay here's what i've got going ahead and it's going to be super fun and i it helps me keep everything um instead of having to remember everything i can just look at the board and go okay this week I've got to get this stuff done, the next couple of months I've got to get these things done, oh no, okay, I've done these things. I can raise them off the board and I just forget about them. And it's been really helpful to do that. Um, I use about like 16,000 different ways to keep track of all the things I need to do. Um, I have a, an app that I use for everything. Um, I use it for keeping track of uni and actually it's where I keep my uni notes as well. So it's got a calendar, it's got a place where I can um, write down notes and uh, it's where I keep like all of my, like anything I need to do. It's it's my go-to spot for everything and it's, I plan everything in there and then I come and bring it out to the whiteboards because I'm not always on technology. Sometimes I just like to sit in bed and read or whatever and I go, ooh, actually how long can i read for because i have these things to do and i can look at the calendars uh the whiteboards sorry um that are set up as calendars so it's super helpful for me to do it that way i've had some people look at me like i'm insane because i i don't just do it once um a lot of people do just one thing that like might have a notepad and they write things down on a notepad or um they might write in a or they might have like a calendar and they just put everything in the calendar or they might just have the whiteboard and do it no um i have several different things and the other great thing is some of my roommates i used to live with before i moved uh they all well not all of them some of them had whiteboards like i did and they did similar things and some of them had the um big calendars that you can hang on your wall and whatnot so they understood why I had several different things to keep track of it. And yeah, it does take a bit of extra time to set up and have so many different things around rather than keeping it in one spot. But it also makes me happy. I love organization. I think my dream job would be people just bringing me like, okay, I work these hours and I, um, I do these things and I have these sports and blah, blah, blah. Like just organize my calendar for me. Like that would be awesome. I'd love to do that. Um, and I know being an assistant would do that. I know that um, that's basically what assistants do is they, they organize the calendar, but they also like take lots of calls and travel around and do that. I just like to organize things. Um, if it's a, a kitchen, I, I would love to organize a kitchen or if it's a filing cabinet or something, I just like putting things away and, and or setting them up. I don't like... I don't like executing things. That's the worst bit is I have these brilliant ideas and figuring out how to how to do them and like organizing them, but then actually doing them, I'd, uh, I'd rather not. Um, I'd rather come in, set some stuff up, show people how to do it and then leave. Um, obviously taking into account how they want to set it up um, and working within their parameters, but then taking that and, and leaving because I don't want to do the stuff um but it's not exactly you kind of have to do multiple things like if you want to be an assistant you've got to do all those extra things and so i've just got to figure it out um but i think that's why i've liked accounting so much is because uh it's it's, it's put all the numbers in the right spot and make sure they line up. I don't have to run the business. I just have to make sure the numbers are correct and that no laws are being broken and whatnot. So, like, I, I love that. I think it's fantastic. Um, and that's why running, um, like, challenges and stuff like that, I don't have to do them. I just have to run them and I can organize them behind the scenes and I think it's fantastic. Um, although I am still taking part in challenges and whatnot. I have a few challenges I want to share with you guys. There's ones that I have already done that are, um, like, like the challenge is over, but I haven't shared the build with you guys yet, or I'm about to. Um, this is a, a 
challenge I'm currently working on that's due by the end of this year and I kind of decided to do it a couple of days ago even though I had months of advanced knowledge and I just didn't want to do it and now I do because I came up with this um, fun little idea for it um, thanks to someone else uh, who was in stream and I went yep that's what I want to do I want to take part of this challenge this is fantastic so yeah I still want to take part in challenges and have fun but I just love to organize them organization makes me setting things up organization those things make me quite happy um which some people find strange because they hate organize they just want to do the thing but I think those people who just want to do the thing and don't want to set it up you and I would work fantastic together um I'll set it up you do the thing and we'll close it out together that's fine I'm okay with closing things out and like because again at the end it needs organization to make sure everything's pulled together and everything's done and and whatnot um but that doesn't mean that I'm going to take over at the end it just means we can work together on it and fix it at the end I guess or well, not fix it but like make sure it's all good at the end um which I guess is like, I guess that's sort of what a manager does, but I absolutely don't want to be a manager because a manager would be um, keeping up to date with it and making sure it's on task and doing their job and talking with the higher ups. But no, I just want to organize it. I just want to set it up and walk away and then come back at the end and and finish it. Not finish it, but make sure it's finished. Um, which is just so, like, that's not a job. So I have to deal with the other things, and that's that's fine. I'm happy to do some things that I don't want to do if it means I get to do the things I do want to do. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think as long as I get to organize things, I'll be happy. I love to organize things, and yeah, it it's just fun for me. Um, but anyway, that's probably enough of me rambling on about how... I like organizing things, uh, because that's not kind of what I wanted to come. I, I come on to come onto these builds where I'm like, yeah, I'm going to talk about this and I'm going to talk about that, and then I just talk about the most random things possible. Um, like it just it doesn't make any sense that I just I probably should start writing down the things I want to talk about again, but uh, I don't, and I think it's fun just to kind of wing it. And I'm glad that this time I'm not sitting here umming and ahhing a lot, because sometimes I sit here in silence and I'm like, cool, people aren't going to want to listen to you just sitting here in silence talking about nothing. Um, and so, yeah, I feel a little, little bit better about that, but other than that, uh, now I am sitting here in silence. Cool, fantastic. I, I, I started watching the build and trying to figure out what I was doing and completely got distracted. Um... No, so actually I will talk about this build. So um, the bit I am working on, or was just working on, um, is actually supposed to be like a little chapel. So there's a, a chapel across the street from the, I don't even know what you call it, the, I do know what you call it, I just can't remember the name for it, the, the, the it's not burial ground, um, the cemetery. Um, and so... I thought it'd be uh, in the in the photos in the movie. I watched the scene again. Um, I believe the cemetery, or the the chapel, or whatever you want to call it, is actually right next to the. Uh, why do I keep forgetting words when I've just said them? Um, graveyard, the the cemetery. So the the chapel is in the cemetery, and you need to like walk past right past it to get to the cemetery but I didn't have enough space in this build uh to kind of shove it in there otherwise I'd have maybe two gravestones and that'd be it so I did it across the aisle I guess across the road from it and um I was actually talking to someone I was showing them this build just before I started recording and I do put cars in um but they were like uh isn't, isn't Godric Hollow Godric's uh, Hollow, like, is it, doesn't it, isn't it just like a, a witch's and wizard's only place and there'd be no cars? And now that I think about it, I've never seen a car in Godric's Hollow, um, but I'm, there are roads, so I'm sure there are cars that drive through, and if not, there are probably, um, I don't even know what, sleds? It's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, I can see it, it's, it's just carriage type things pulled by horses or reindeer um 
so I don't know. I do put cows in, but they're useless. But that's fine. Um, and I don't know. I think it's it's kind of cute. I like I said before. I think at the beginning of the video, I don't furnish them. Uh, but I do put in some wallpaper and and walls and tiles and whatnot. So if you don't want to have to go through and set up the houses, um, I've already done that for you. And you don't have to stress uh, but if you don't like the way I've set it up you can absolutely pull it apart and put it together however you please I just kind of made it up as I went along uh, because I just I wasn't sure if I was going to furnish it or not and then I looked at how much I'm had already spent on it and I don't like doing two parters um, so I didn't furnish it but if you don't like furnishing I've already done it for you not, not furnishing if you don't like Floor plans, I've already done that for you. Um, but if you do like floor plans and you disagree with mine, absolutely change it. You go, girl. I won't stop you. Um, and I'm sure you guys will actually find better floor plans than what I've done because sometimes I was unsure as to what I was doing and I kind of just shoved rooms in places willy nilly. Um, but yeah, it was super fun and. I think I want to try and challenge myself to do bigger builds like this again, which is why the A to Z challenge I'm doing this year, I've spent two hours on some of them, but I've spent more than two hours on some others, um, which I think is good because it means I'm starting to do more details and be a bit more considerate, I guess, a bit more aware of how much effort and detail these builds need. Um, like, some of them I think I'm going to have to skip certain parts because it just takes so long. Um, in the videos I'm going to have to, like, skip over some of the butts and speed it up a bit more than usual. Uh, which is unfortunate because I used to do it at 8 times speed but then I got too fast. And so I moved it to 6 times speed so that it wasn't, um, like, too much for people to watch and, and get dizzy and whatnot. And so I don't want to have to go back to 8 times, but if I do... Um, that's just what I'm gonna have to do. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to. Oh, I mean, I say otherwise, I'm gonna have to cut parts out. I'll cut parts out, and hopefully, it'll be okay. Um, because I don't want to have to make you guys dizzy or have to sit and watch a ridiculously long video. Like I know this one's half an hour. Um, and I've personally watched videos of people doing builds that are like 40, 50 minutes long. I'm, like I'll happily do that, but just because I'm happy to do that doesn't mean everyone else is. So I'm just. Just trying to be a little bit considerate of um, what I do, and also if the cars are on the wrong side of the road for you, um, I'm sorry, but that's the the side of the road that they're on for me. Um, I do live in Australia, and yes, we have cars on the left, not the right. Um, I believe the reason why cars were on the left. In most countries is actually because uh, when knights would joust, I think that's the right word, they would hold their lances in their right, well, most people are right handed, so they'd hold their lances in the right hand. Now if you're on the right side of the road, you're not going to hit the other knight, you're going to have to be on the left side. So it, it originates from jousting, which I thought was quite interesting um, because obviously, like I said before, in my country we still drive on the left side. And it, it, it kind of originated from jousting, which I thought was quite interesting. Um, and yeah, it's kind of weird to think of that where we drive today came from something so... Like, I've never seen jousting in real life before. It, it kind of is something that I forget happened in the past. Um, and I'm sure people joust today. I'm sure that's still a thing, but it's not as common as it once was. So yeah, I find it fascinating that that's that's where it started. Um, but other than that, uh, yeah, that's really that's that's why the cars are on the left side of the road in this build. Um, I could have put them on the other side, but it's also a build based in the UK. And I believe in the UK they also drive on the left side, so 
it's still pretty accurate. But yeah, if you are someone who drives on the right side of the road and you were wondering why other countries drive on the left, it's probably because of the jousting. Um, which I just find quite, again, quite interesting. Um, that such... Like, it, I don't know, it's just... I find it fascinating to think about how things, why are things today the way they are today when they were originated in a time way before us and how it got to be where they did. Like the jousting, we don't joust on a regular basis today. It's not a um, thing we do for fun and sport and, and you see it on TV. Um, I'm sure you could find it on TV if you looked hard enough, but it's just, it's something that's not all that common and I think it's again fascinating I could keep rambling on about it if you have any fun facts like that about oh well, the reason why we do these things these today is because of things back then like this I'd love to hear them definitely let me know down in the comments below because I love learning and I love learning new things and learning about why the world works today because of things based in the past I can't even think of anything that would um be another example um but yeah, just let me know your thoughts, not your thoughts, if you have any more facts, sorry, on that sort of stuff, because like I said, I love to learn, I love to um, expand my knowledge, I guess, and I love figuring out things like, oh, that makes a lot of sense nowadays. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to this build. I, I know I'm kind of closing off early. But it's because I just wanted to say thank you all um, to everyone who's ever been here and you watched any of my videos, whether you liked or disliked it, anything like that. Just being here and being able to make these videos, it's so much fun for me. Like, I just, I would just sit around doing nothing all day if I didn't do this. And I really enjoy the fact that I get to do some fun things and share it with you guys and basically expand on my knowledge. Not my knowledge, my, my ability, I guess. Um, because I, I know I'm not the greatest, I'm not the best, but I'm definitely improving. But yes, thank you for that, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.